Hi, this is Sergio with GJD 3D. And in this video, I'm going to show how to quickly mock up a building uh, for a architectural study. First, we're going to lay out some lines uh, and curves to define the shape. And this center line is going to be the height of the building. So just 314 feet. Uh, height and this center line is only a guideline now using line from midpoint I'm going to create one at the base uh, 60 feet from the center And I'm going to create one on the top, 50 feet from the center. Now using uh, the endpoints, I'm going to create uh, conics from end to point to endpoint. There we go. Now I'm going to mirror this over across the green axis. So we have the left and right sides. So there we go. And moving on, we can delete these guidelines that we started with, those construction lines. We can delete them. Now we can create the cross section of the building. And for that, I'm going to start with a rectangle. And it doesn't really matter where you place it. You're going to put it right over here and then I'll make it uh, 60 by 60. Now using the control points, I'm going to bring this point down using the nut keys. And I'm going to nudge this one up to create kind of like an irregular shape. Not using the curve, the control point curve, I'll create a cross section inside. That gives me the form that I, that, that I was after from the beginning. And remember that you can also turn the control points and edit this shape in the end if you if you want to, if it needs to be. Now we need to orient our cross section to the bottom of our two rails. So we'll select that. We'll go to transform and use orient two points. We're going to turn on the scaling with 3D and we're going to activate the quadrant snap and from quadrant to quadrant to endpoint and endpoint. There we go. Now, if you want to notice in mine, I made one curve longer than the other so that the building is angled at the top. You can do that if you want to, or you can leave it even. And then you sweep two rails to create the, 
the basic shape of the building. Make sure to move the seam to the quadrant. Click OK. And there's the basic shape of the building. Now I'm just going to put a surface on the top from planar curves. There it is. And if you joined that surface to the building, they become a poly surface. And finally, if we want a solid, we can cap, which closes the bottom, given as a solid object. But this, this is not important at this, at this point. Now moving on, here we have our shape. I've gotten rid of all the extra curves and I've separated the top and bottom. I'll go ahead and hide those. And here's our surface that we're going to work with. And we're going to use our UV command, create UV curves. There it is, create UV curves. Hit enter. And there's the UV layout of our surface. And inside of this layout, just move it out of the way first. Inside that layout, we're going to draw whatever facade or whatever form we want the building to, to have. Any windows, any columns. And for that, we're just going to use curves and draw, draw all our different curves into place. Now remember that you can input all the numbers into the command line. So I'm typing in the width and then I'm typing in the height. And notice the width there needs to be 338.12 in order to match the width of the UV layout. So it's 338.12 by whatever height you want each level to have. So this has 44 feet in height. Now I start another one, which will have the same width, which will be 338.12 by whatever height we want on this next section, when this is 60 feet. And you continue to draw whatever forms you want your building to have. Remember you have copy, you have move, so you can draw things and then move them, copy them, repeat them as many times as you need to. So I move this over a little bit and then I can copy Now I'm going to go ahead and draw some windows and propagate them across the, the three pillars. So I just draw one window. And then copy it and repeat it as many times as you need to.
There I have already repeated the window in all the three pillars and I'm moving on with, with the project. Now in the bottom level, I want to draw some columns. So that's going to be my next step. And once again, I'm going to draw one and then repeat them as many as I need at that bottom level. And there is the final layout. Now I'm going to take uh, each component and I'm going to extrude it to the thickness that I want each part to have. So the columns, those large pillars with the windows on them, we can extrude them to whatever thickness we want. Uh, no both sides, so both sides no. And now all we got to do is extrude each section to the height that we want. Now we'll go to the next one, extrude it. And finally, we got the columns. I will go with six feet. And there's the the facade that I want to stick onto our building. So now here we have the facade and we have a surface right underneath it, the size of the UV of the surface. And we're going to use flow along surface. I'm going to pick this corner down here, then this corner down here. And there our facade gets wrapped around our building. We don't need this for now, so let's put it away. And uh, there's our top and bottom back on the building. And our little building basic shape there is done. Uh, if we go to render shadows, we can actually see the shading a little bit better. Let's put a floor underneath there so we can actually see the shadow projected on the floor. There we go. And as you can see, we have a very simple mock-up or little concept of a building. Uh, you know, very easily and very quickly. And here's a final render. Also very quick and easy with small figures for scale.